Most activities to celebrate the end of the school year don't usually consist of smashing rocks, butchering cucumbers, or spear throwing. But these so-called activities were once everyday tasks for ancient humanity, and College of the Canyon's Anthro students are reviving them today in the annual Anthro Survivor. This event is commonly found at Anthro-focused universities, and one professor was inspired to bring the tradition to COC. When I started out here, I wanted to do something that would um, maybe interest students in our Anthro classes, but also give them sort of a fun, sort of stress-relieving activity at the end of the semester before exams. Not only are these activities enjoyable and interactive, one contestant argues that it is one of the most effective ways of learning this field. I think a huge part of studying anthropology is doing things yourself. We've just been learning in archaeology about experimental archaeology where you actually try to do or make things and you just learn so much more about it and I think that applies to all of anthropology. Dr. M hopes to expand the number of activities for Anthro Survivor but is grateful for what she has been granted and couldn't have done it without one group's help. I've applied for ASG grants every year and that is what um, provides the funding to buy the stones, the darts get a little bit banged up and we have to replace those. And we really appreciate the ASG funding that we've gotten so far to be able to host this every semester. Anthro Survivor isn't really about surviving, but rather a time for trying something new. For Canyons News, I'm Meg Hall. You want to try it? I don't know.